The issue of hunger is one of those unseen challenges that we run into in our communities. It's no longer just the homeless person on the street that many people think about when they think of a hungry person. It's your neighbor, it's your friend, it's the person you see at your church, it's the middle class. Things happen around the table. If we can help families that have no other way of feeding themselves, that's a huge contribution. I mean, nutrition is it. It's the starting point. It just, you cannot improve our world unless people are fed and fed well. So at SeaShare, you know, we're feeding people, but we want to feed them well. We are at Food for Greater Elgin, and we are a client choice food pantry. We are set up like a mini grocery store in a warehouse, and all of our clients get to shop, and they get to pick and choose all the products that they have. It is very dignified. They can take ownership of what they are choosing in their time of hardship. And I think it's a very special, unique type of thing that they have received tonight with the fish, which is nutritious, and great protein for them. You take as many as you want. Okay. Real seafood. Real seafood. Real shrimp. Yeah. Real shrimp. Yeah. That's really good stuff. Mom, do you get this? Yes, I do. Thank you, guys. You want to take one too, just in case? Yes, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. No problem. Enjoy. It. Quality food is very, very hard to come by, especially if you are on a fixed income. So we like to be that outlet of helping folks get that quality food to their plate. And we would not be able to do that without the partnership that we have with SeaShare. We didn't dream of fish uh, as an option for, for our pantries and for our agencies. When we started seeing that SeaShare could, could show up with uh, cod or salmon, uh, it was just unbelievable. The need for wholesome food is tremendous, and I don't think there is more wholesome food than fresh fish. It's simple as that. And so we're providing something that has the vitamins and nutrients and uh, nutritional balance that people are seeking for high value food. From my position as a registered dietitian, I love when we get a fish donation because I think about the triglyceride levels in the body that'll be lowered by that and how it'll re slow the growth of atherosclerotic plaque in the body. And it's just so wonderful for our clients who may not be able to purchase a fish or another protein item. Protein is, is a much more expensive commodity than many of the other products. It's really difficult to pay for it when you have limited dollars. You're, the clients are often trying to stretch their dollars as far as they can and are often buying less expensive, um, less nutritious foods because it's, it's a belly filler. Food prices overall have gained about 5% in cost over the last five years, but protein items have increased over 30%. That makes the work we do at SeaShare even more important now than, than ever. Well, I grew up on an island, so back as far as recorded time, everybody fished. I mean, uh, it's an island, so it's a way of life. I started fishing in 1985. I, uh, I came to Alaska to Seward right out of high school and worked in the cannery there for a few years and just saw the boats going in and out and decided that looked like something I wanted to try. I've always just felt like fishing was like kind of a real job, you know, like it was providing food for people and like a real thing. I mean like the oldest job around, you're, you're catching food, you know, <laughs> catching fish to feed people. So One of the things we talk about with our crew is that we don't make frozen blocks or this and that, we, we make meals. We make uh, dinners, lunches uh, that are served all around the world. You feel good about producing something people eat. You know, it's primary production of food and uh, people get a good sense that that's a good thing to be a part of, you know, that you are feeding people. And also you're feeding people something that's really good. The logistics are huge. Logistics of getting fresh fish out of the Bering Sea to a food bank in Boston are, are huge. And it seems seamless. I mean, it's, it just arrives in packages. But it, there's so many steps to it. We enable other people to participate 
because we have a framework to accommodate whatever piece they might be willing to give. The cold storage company can't donate cold storage unless the seafood company has already agreed to put up fish for us. The seafood company can't put up those fish if the fishermen don't give them to them. So there's a continuum that allows participation and kind of encourages it across the country. SeaShare brings a lot of pieces together that could not operate on their own in terms of a donation. The SeaShare relationships across the, the fishing industry are really important. It, it, it makes a unique partnership for Feeding America because it brings together the community of fishermen and producers and packers and shippers and storage companies all across the industry that enable this fish to be donated in a way that is at a, a wonderful value to our food banks so that it can then feed the communities that are in need. So, superfoods. What's a superfood? Salmon is a superfood because it's such a great source of protein. It's such a great source of health. We come in, fat. we do a pantry to plate right. and just um, demonstrate an easy, inexpensive recipe using usually a featured ingredient and give some nutrition background. I want people to come away feeling like they have more options. And um, bringing seafood into that conversation is really fun. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without partners like SeaShare. It is critical to us being able to achieve our goals. I think because people are less fortunate or finding themselves in a tough spot doesn't mean that they shouldn't have access to this good quality fish protein. SeaShare is a program where people can work together instead of figuring out what they get out of the system, it's what can we give back. There's not much more noble than knowing that you're participating in feeding the world an important protein source. And so when you think about that from the perspective of SeaShare, to know that, yeah, we do this as our business, but we also do it because we're giving back, we're contributing to the greater good, that's, that's pretty impactful. In the United States, to think that you know, children go to school without breakfast or may come home and not have a, a meal on, over a weekend, to me is just, it, it's, it's a shame and it, it's wrong. It's, it's all about being you know, a, good, a good participant in the human race, right? I mean, there's people that have needs and you can supply some of them yeah, you should be doing that. When you've fed yourself well, when you know that you have access to healthy food, when you know that you're gonna have a lunch, you're gonna have a dinner, you can think about so many other things and you can attack those other challenges in your life. While you can't solve every problem, you can't get to everybody, you can contribute to what you have in front of you. And SeaShare allows us to do that because without SeaShare, I don't think we really could contribute in a meaningful way. I just view it as a fundamental right to have nutritious food. I think it's a fundamental right that we all have in this world and we should figure out how to get that to everybody and we're trying to do that with seafood.